Well, I'm sure that Leicester quietly travelled here with confidence. Their away record is not good in Europe, by the way. At Glasgow last week, they won away for the first time in three seasons. But they must have thought that they would be too powerful up front for Pontypris this evening. But they're still seven points adrift. And we're now playing time added on for injury. Yes, let's look at themselves. The blame that indiscipline has been terrible tonight. Pontypris have thrived off it through Leave Jarvis. They haven't played particularly well themselves. They made so many mistakes with the lineup and the set pieces and collection of kickouts. But they've had the fortune of all the penalties. That was clever by Pontypris. They didn't jump, they didn't contest. And that might have made the throw look a little more crooked than it was. But it was crooked anyway. They were there to defend and then waiting for the mistake. In it goes. Paul John and his team are now on the verge of another famous victory, but that's turned around. And it's now Leicester's ball, it's not over yet. There's one more chance at least for Martin Johnson and his team. Tackle. Remarkable tackle count by Pontypris. There goes the scrum half Hamilton, sniping away on the right-hand side. And the steam literally is still rising in this battle. Away they go. Kneel back. Hands off. Grappling on the floor, but it's come to Vunipola. Vunipola inside. That's Sedoli. Sedoli to Loder. Jarvis. Yes, that's a sensible kick. It puts Leicester right back on the defence. Craig Williams chases. The ball is dead. And the pressure is lifted, but that's a fabulous throw by Leicester. And back they come again. Pat Howard on his own 22. Marvellous run from Big Ben Kay, galloping up to halfway. But the ball scooped by Paul John, and the skipper knows where to put it. Great, great <laughs> kick by Paul John. Instinctive, just looked, saw the gap, and put his side just where they want to be. Yes, done a captain's job there, working so hard in defence, but all the forwards getting back, putting tackles in. But as Paul John swivelled on that left foot, saw the gap in that corner, and now we look where Leicester find themselves. Look at the face of Dean Richards. He's saying, what have we done tonight? We've just thrown it away through indiscipline. Richard Cockrell. There can't be many more chances left. Pontypris with 18, Leicester 11, Martin Johnson's ball. The captain has possession, but only 10 metres away from his own try line. If they can score from here, they deserve that share of the spoils. But no, a little mistake again. The final whistle is blown at Sardis Road. And Pontypris and their supporters celebrate a famous, famous victory. It is a major turn-up in Pool 6. Leicester were firm favourites to qualify from this group but that's an upset for them it's an upset for their supporters but it's joy unbounded for Pontypris Lee Jarvis with six penalty goals led them there and against the odds Paul John's Pontypris have beaten the giants of English rugby Leicester the final score on a memorable night at Sardis Road is Pontypris 18, Leicester 11. Well, Pontypris live again. The scenes here, Sardis Road, we've seen it so many times in this tour in these tournaments the last few years. They've won this game. They only won, they only won 12 out of 21 lineouts, which is quite remarkable. They didn't catch the kickouts too many times. But that's McIntosh waving to the crowd, hand on heart. They had an outstanding game. Lee Jarvis helped his forward superbly. But Leicester will be so disappointed. They're in discipline. They just could not please John Hogg, the referee. They'll have plenty of questions to ask about him in the dressing room when they get in there. But a great night for Pontypris. Now they must go away and steal some victories in this tournament. It's going to be some match up in Leicester, that's for certain. So Pontypris have defeated the English champions of the last two years, Leicester. Gloucester are the only English side to have won 
in the European competition in Wales this season. Wasps, Bath, Leicester have now all been beaten. It's going even better for the Welsh clubs. And uh, down with Graham Thomas, JJ's man of the match, Lee Jarvis. Lee Jarvis, many congratulations. Scorer of all your side's points, and you're the Heineken man of the match. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, it was a massive game, you know. Happy with Saris Ward, full house. Uh, you know, couldn't, couldn't ask them anymore, really. The forwards played well again. We started to get a bit of a uh, you know, ball behind, and uh, you know, luckily we, we come away with a win. It was a difficult match, difficult conditions, but you seem to play it to perfection. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not a, the, the rain is not a you know, game for fancy rugby, really. I mean, we, we come in first half, we said, you know, second half, put the ball down there and just keep, you know, build from there. And it wasn't just your goal kicking, kicking out of hand, crucial again. Uh, yeah, you know, th uh, kicking out and being going well lately, but, uh, you know, like I say, practice makes perfect and uh, I've been putting it in the training ground and uh, it's paying off now. Everybody keeps writing off Ponte Breathe, but you keep defying them. What is it about this club? Uh, I, well, everyone says it's a good team spirit, and it is. You know, uh, you know the boys up here just want to play rugby. Uh, we're still a young side, very young side. Uh, you know, in two or three years' time, you know, we'll be up there with the best. I think. Are you confident you can go on and build on this, qualify from the group? Again, it's an, you know that's the thing about European rugby is uh, brilliant matches every week. We got a trip down to Leicester now next week. I mean, we can only build from this. Uh, another hard match. Uh, who knows? But that must give you every confidence. It does. You know, uh, the boys have been playing on confidence as well. Uh, Everyone was 100% we could win this match and uh, it proved tonight. Lee, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Lee Jarvis.